Welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Also, be sure to give us a like, share with your family and friends, and leave a comment down below. And if you're into true crime, ghost stories, and dark psychology, then head on over to my other channel, Psychology of the Unknown, and subscribe. Today on the show, we're taking a look at the history and origins of Birdman and the Galaxy Trio. Birdman and the Galaxy Trio was an American animated television series by Hanna-Barbera Productions that debuted on NBC on September 9, 1967. The series ran in first-run broadcast until September 6, 1969. The series was divided into two parts, the first of which being that of Birdman, who was created by Alex Toth. Birdman is actually the alter ego of Ray Randall, who is given powers derived from the sun. As Birdman, he possesses super strength, the power to fly via giant bird wings on his back, solar energy blasts, enhanced hearing, and the ability to create a shield out of solar energy. His only weakness is that his powers dwindle when he's out of the sun for too long. Using his powers, Birdman and his Purple Eagle Avenger battle the forces of evil, including the criminal syndicate Fear, led by the mysterious Number One. Birdman works for the top secret government agency, Internation Security, and his contact within the agency is the eye-patched wearing mustachio man known as Falcon 7, whom Birdman typically receives his missions. Birdman was later joined by Bird Boy, who he first met when Birdman happened upon a shipwreck, of which Bird Boy was the only apparent survivor. Since the boy was near death from exposure, Birdman transferred some of his own super energy to him, reviving him and giving him power similar to Birdman's, and he went on to aid him in several episodes. Bird Boy lacks the natural feathered wings sported by Birdman, however, and is only able to fly with the assistance of the mechanical wings strapped to his back. He spends much of his time searching for his father, who was lost in a wreck, but this is never resolved. The second half of each episode revolved around the Galaxy Trio, who are a group of three extraterrestrial superheroes, Vapor Man, Meteor Man, and Gravity Girl, who patrol space in their cruiser Condor 1, maintaining order and fighting evildoers in the name of the Galactic Patrol Law Enforcement Agency. The ship was equipped with a displacer, very similar to Star Trek's transporters. Vapor Man has the ability to transform part or all of his body into gaseous forms, enabling him to fly, escape from physical bonds, and squeeze through very small spaces, as well as producing various forms of vapor, such as freeze vapor, from his hands. Meteor Man is a native of the planet Meteoris, and is distinguished by his ability to increase or decrease the size of any part of his body. He gains superhuman strength in any limb that he chooses to enlarge. Gravity Girl has the ability to bend the laws of gravity to her will, allowing her to fly and lift very heavy objects with her mind. She's the daughter of the king of the planet Gravitas, who left her luxurious home and life of privilege at an early age to fight crime with the Galactic Patrol, and was subsequently assigned to the Galaxy Trio team, with whom she has served ever since. They are coordinated in a similar fashion as Falcon 7 by a man only known as Chief. Birdman has also appeared in issues 1 through 7 of the Hanna-Barbera Super TV Heroes comic book, published by Gold Key Comics. He was joined in issue 2 by the Galaxy Trio, which was the first time they appeared together. In 1997, he was also featured in issue number 5 of DC Comics' Cartoon Network Presents Toonami comic book series. On July 17, 2007, Warner Home Video released Birdman and the Galaxy Trio, the complete series, on DVD. Birdman later spun off into another series entitled Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim. The series was created by William Street and produced by Cartoon Network Studios and revolves around the activities of the Seven and Seven law firm, which is staffed mainly by superheroes and other characters who had originally been featured in 1960s era Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Harvey usually fills the role of a criminal defense attorney, though he will act as a civil litigator or other such job when the plot calls for it. The series uses a surrealist style of comedy, featuring characters, objects, and jokes that are briefly introduced and rarely, if ever, referenced thereafter. Also, because the series relies heavily on popular culture references to classic television animation, Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law constantly delves into parody, even featuring clips of these series or specially created scenes which mimic the distinctive style of the animation being referenced. 
Birdman's secret alter ego of Ray Randall from the original series was never mentioned in this series, though it can be found hidden in the opening credits, as well in the episode Dead o Mutt Part 2, a police mugshot of Harvey identifies him as Harvey R.R. R. Birdman. In the series, he had retired from his superhero job and is now working for the law firm. Harvey is generally honest, a little dim, 6 foot 6 inches tall, and has large wings growing out of his back which were genetically inherited from his father, unlike his original backstory in the 60s animated series. His clients consist of other Hanna-Barbera characters of the past and present. In the original series, Birdman was voiced by Keith Andis, with Gary Cole voicing him in the later series. Don Messick voiced Falcon 7, General Stone, and Vapor Man. Dick Beals voiced Bird Boy. John Stephenson and Vic Perrin voiced the villain known as Number One. Ted Cassidy voiced Meteor Man, and Gravity Girl was voiced by Virginia Eller. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.